so fragile Like it was built to be off the handle How'd we get to this place? We leave it Everything behind for new and exciting And welcome back to Subnautica. So this is episode 3 and I made a stupid mistake where I played for about half an hour and I forgot to record what I was playing. So, as you can see on the screen, I got the Seamoth, I got the mobile vehicle bay, uh, and I made my base a little bigger. I also got a fragment for the propulsion cannon. <laughs> <laughs> it was all going so well. I wasn't even recording my screen. Sad. But look at the Seamoth. It was supposed to be a happy time. And now I'm sad. So right now what I'm trying to do is... What am I trying to do? I am trying to make a battery charger. I have the copper wire and the titanium. I need to get two silver. Uh, I also want to go towards life pod 17 where there's uh, a jelly shroom caves down deep i want to go there and see if i can get some stuff it's uh, there's a base down there which is really important also another thing in the last episode i did say oh no i did say i would read one of the data bank thingies that we got the data downloads i did do that so i'm sorry degasi survivors so a bit of lore in the game. We came in the Aurora. We are an Aurora survivor. Degasi was another ship that came in to this planet, uh, 4546B, before the Aurora. And though there are three survivors on Degasi, so we're gonna s learn about them. I know about the characters, like who those three are, but I don't know their story properly, so this is good. Degasi Crew Manifest. This, so this is one of the characters, Margaret Maida. Uh, auxiliary search and rescue mission Margaret Maida uh, position freelance security personnel status lost in space near planet 4546b age at time of disappearance 42 she's a mercenary born in the Mongolian states experienced in ship to ship and close quarters combat techniques tours of duty with the Mongolian defense force and the trans system federation Dishonorably discharged from the TSF 15 years ago for going off mission. Details classified. Don't even ask. I shook the camp. Uh, Emissary Kassar uh, reports Maida was hired to accompany Paul Torgo on board the Degasi into uncharted space and defend the ship in case of assault by pirates or rival corporations. So Paul Torgo is the other character. There's another one, uh, Bart Torgo. So we have the X compartment here. See the X? X marks the spot. There's no treasure down there, unfortunately, because I'm not a pirate. <laughs> the last episode... Thank you. In the last episode, I said I would be going to the Aurora this episode, uh, but that depended on whether I'd get the mobile vehicle bay and the Seamoth. Uh, and I did get that. And technically, I should be going according to what I said uh, in the last episode. But I remembered that the Aurora uh, requires me to have the propulsion cannon. And I only have one of those. Uh, one out of two fragments. I need one more fragment. Uh, so, we are not ready to go yet. This is Officer Keen in Light Pod 19. The captain is gone. Okay. I have assumed command. Sure. The last thing the captain did was give me coordinates for dry land. We regroup one and a half kilometers southwest of the crash site. Awesome. Stay together and good luck. This message will now repeat. Rendezvous coordinates corrupted. Transmission origin coordinates downloaded. Signal location uploaded to PDA. Oh, life pod 19 is down there. Is this a baby? This one's a baby. Whoa! I didn't know there were baby reef bags, like ones without anything on them. 
Are you the mama brief back? This is the cave. Okay, wish us luck. This goes deep. And the sea moth can only go to a 200 meter deep nest. Um, and you'll see why, why this is called the jelly shroom cave. Because the, the, the jelly shrooms, there they are. Those snake like creatures, they're the ones who want to kill me. Maximum depth reached. Hull damage imminent. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. I know. I'm just trying to see how far I can take this. Oh, and there's a PDA here as well. Okay. Let's see that. Environment log. Signal location uploaded to PDA. What? What signal location? Integrating new PDA data. Okay. Welcome aboard, Captain. Let's see what this is. User Paul Torgel requested cross-referencing of local environment scans with ideal habitat construction conditions displaying results. Large subterranean cavern with multiple entrances, conditions support a unique microcosm of predatory life forms, minor structural instability in cave walls, extensive resource deposits, average sa uh, safety rating C, optimal habit site safety rating D. Site 7 has been selected as the optimal habitat construction site for the following reasons. Close proximity as one of the cave entrances in case of emergency. Median distance from predatory organisms. Stable foundations on which to build. Ready access to materials. Signal tracking the site has been created. What signal? Oh. Oh, okay. It's over there. Um... Okay, I did not realize. Okay, I'm gonna push this as far as I can. Okay, this is as far as I can go. Alright, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. This might not be smart. Oh no! Ah no, 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 no. No, I don't mean any harm. I do not mean any harm. Okay. Shit, 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 shit. Ah! <laughs> I died. What did I lose? I mean, my Seamoth's down there. I don't know what I lost. I definitely lost something. I have to get my Seamoth back. I died because I touched those dangly thingies and that poisoned me. Uh, Seamoth's down there. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Do not have time. I need my Seamoth back, man. What am I doing? Why am I doing this? Scary sounds, dude. It scares me. And I know there are scarier sounds in the... Towards the end game, and... I don't know if I'm ready, man. <laughs> well, hopefully I'll be ready by the time that happens. Warning. Maximum depth reached. Hull damage imminent. Shit. Shit. Okay, wait. I do not want to lose my Seamoth. So... I don't know if I can go there. Because I, I, I don't have enough air. I died. Because I was stupid. And the, that life pod's gone down to 300 meters. Which means my Seamoth can't go down there. Why is everything so deep? Where am I? Where am I? I don't know. I don't want to be here. I don't think I'm prepared for this. Oh, uh, hey. It's the fart of the sea. The sea fart. So that should give me enough to make the battery charger. Right there. I'll make the battery charger right there. Uh, do we have any batteries? Okay. Let's see. Uh, we need to uh, change you. And we can charge you. There you go. Hi. Whoa. What you guys doing? He's pushing you. You gonna let him push you around? Apparently he's... Must be a pushover. <laughs> Have I been here? 
Life pod six. No, we have not. Okay. Like you just need to s go away. Alright, so we have that. Ultra guide fins. Detecting increased ah. bacteria levels in the water. Performing a self scan is advised. I think we're infected, guys. I think we're finally infected. See what we have in here. Oh, lead. Oh, two flares. And another PDA. Those these two. Cool log one. Okay, to listen. Calm. We're not in immediate danger. Where are the rescue teams? The Aurora didn't make it. So, where are the rescue teams? They're dead, ma'am. We have rendezvous coordinates, but the roots yeah. are radiated. So, what are you going to do? I'm head of human resources, ma'am. This is not my expertise. But the PDA says if we can find some lead, we can make radiation suits. Mm -hmm. Oh, there! I am not setting foot outside this life pod without the proper protection. Don't worry. I'll go. Aww, and she didn't make it. I'm so sad. What's well, happening? You were gone so long. I thought you drowned. Put the flare down. I was going to try and attract someone's attention. That's not a distress flare. Stop waving it around like that. You'll catch the fuel. Oh. Line. Yikes. Ah, oh, so that's what happened there. Oh, that's sad. All right. So we, now we have a scanner room. That's gonna help us. Yeah, I don't completely know exact, you know, how the scanner room works. Like, that's over there. Is that so over that way? Whoa, what is this? Ah! <laughs> I don't want to fight you guys. Where am I? Where am I? Where's the blood camp? I didn't realize we were at the blood camp. I didn't recognize this place, but this is the blood camp forest. I went too far. Why am I here? I'm not equipped for this yet. I don't know, this episode I've been completely flustered. And my camera died, so I had to switch to this camera. Alright, let's get ready. We're approaching the planet now. There you go. For you, that's... The 40 well, minutes for the, the sunbeam. We've sent you the coordinates. It'll take us a couple of days to align our orbit. Should be able to establish direct contact with you during that time. Then we're coming in okay. to get you. Cross your fingers, the weather holds. And don't leave oh, us there you are. Sunbeam out. Alright, so 40 minutes, roughly, we should be getting to the Sunbeam uh, and Compass. Okay, I'm gonna end this episode here. Uh, we made the scanner room, we got the sea moth, we made, the, uh, we made our base slightly bigger. We got all these lockers, the fabricator down here, the battery charger. We, had the, we got the mobile vehicle bay, we finally got the sea moth. Uh, we died. <laughs> Uh, we died in this episode. Uh, we looked, we went to the Jelly Shroom Cave and... Well, we can't go down there just yet. So, I need to figure that out. Anyway, we also got the call from the Sunbeam. So, in the next episode, we'll be heading there. We have 24 minutes, so I'm gonna just make sure we have everything set up. And I'm gonna head to that island. And we'll see what happens at the sunbeam and explore that island as well so that's it for this episode if you enjoyed the video don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to my channel for more content that's all for now and i will see you later friends <laughs>